here is a quick introduction to geometry I always thought that the rectangle was the fundamental shape and everything else in geometry is derived from them I don't know I always use the triangle as a fundamental uh, shape because polygons you get from the area of a triangle but let me give you sort of my intro that I give to people in regards to geometry where I sort of try to explain to them what length area and volume are right so if you're thinking about geometry and we're talking about euclidean geometry flat surface geometry to a certain degree you can talk about spheres as well but the formulas change a little bit right but let's do this geometry okay whoop, whoop. what do you call this ready whoop. what do you call that what do you call that that point that really doesn't have any area it's just a point in space a point exactly we call this a point now a point in space it's not really a dot it's not a it's not a sphere it's a point it's a marker a, a marker in space has zero dimensions zero d right no dimensions to it it's just a point in space right now take this point right take this point and stretch it or take your pen and draw on it what do you call this what do you call this a line exactly we call this a line now a line is one plane right so it's 1d one dimension right 1d right and one dimension means it's got a unit it's got a unit okay now if it's got a unit it all depends what you measure with right what your units you like measuring with it could be <laughs> Bond. funny it could be it could be meters it could be feet it could be inches it's you length right <laughs> she's laughing so we could call this the unit would be meters feet inches centimeters kilometers miles yards whatever you want to call it right that's the dimension it's a line it's a length right length now take that point right Boop. draw a line or stretch your point across right and then take this line hopefully it was a straight line it doesn't look too straight take this line and stretch it up right so pan it up when you pan it up in mathematics what that means is you multiply it stretch you gotta cover this whole thing going up right what do you call this thing what do you call this thing right there's multiple words for it right surface surface right it's a surface right so if this was link x this was link x and this is length y we have two dimensions that we're going for us to go figure out what the surface or what the area of this thing is we take this and multiply it by this and this is two directions so it's two-dimensional right 2d and when you have two-dimensional you're not just meters and feet and inches and centimeters or kilometers or miles you're meters squared feet squared inches squared you're multiplying a unit with a unit and if you multiply two identical things it's just squared right so this would be meters squared feet squared inches squared centimeters squared 
whatever it is squared right now take this point stretch it into a line take your line pan this line up you get your surface now take the surface and push it either out of the page or into the page right just go push it in right right so there is our x there is our y and this is sort of depth and we can call this z if you want what do you call this what do you call this volume volume surface volume right volume that's more related to that volume is there another word we could say volume 3d 3d it's got three directions right 3d and if you're if you're going to measure something you're going to measure things in the same unit may it be feet meters feet inches centimeters kilometers miles you multiply the same unit multiple times together it's cubed right so this is meters cubed feet cubed inches cubed centimeters cubed all right and what type of world do we live in you take your three dimensions that we exist in right now right add time okay or multiply with time you get 4d which is us okay we live in a four-dimensional world right three spatial dimension and we got time right for me this is my intro to geometry when i first get into teaching someone geometry i make sure they understand this concept and then we build from here right no matter what grade they're in okay i don't know if that would be considered a proof of this but it's an explanation i'm pretty sure there's uh, a hardcore mathematical proof to it okay